Okay, everyone, how's it going? I decided to get a projector, and today we are going to be looking at the Wombo T2 Max projector by Xiaomi. Yeah, so it has Bluetooth 2.0 connectivity, as well as HDMI 2.0, and as well as it runs Android 9.0 uh, software. So let's open it up and take a look. All right, here's the Wombo projector, and it also comes with the projector stand or leg. Let's open the projector first and see what we're dealing with. Okay, so let's see what's in the box, guys. You happy, I happy. I love that slogan. I do want to be happy. Okay, let's see. All right, here's the projector, guys. Got the uh, kind of black navy version. It's very light, uh, very portable. You have the mount screw here. And as you can see, Wombo Projector T2 Max, power supply, 19 volt, and then all the manufacturer details. In the back here, you can see you have the power DC, you have a USB 3.0, HDMI cable, as well as a earphone jack, audio jack, and designed by Wombo, made in China. Okay, so the projector, over here, let's see what else the box comes with. Let's get this out of here. Okay, we got some cable management here. Let's see. Okay, we got some stickers. Cool, boss. Cool. Let's see here. Looks like the power, power cord. And this, yep, yeah, these are both part of the power supply. And then we have, take a look here. Okay, and then we got the remote. Let me open this up so you just get a better look at the buttons and layout. Okay, it looks like power on the top, uh, activated mouse function, options, classic wheel navigation, back button, uh, rewind and forward and home button. Okay, nice. Pretty straightforward. And I believe these use uh, AAA batteries, guys. And is that everything we have for the box? What else is here? Yeah, I believe that's it. So very uh, minimal. Very minimal. has all the essentials you need. The projector, the power cables. As a projector, the power cables, and the remote. Okay, so... Well, let's set up the stand and see how it is. Okay, let's take a look at what else comes with it, which is the stand. Let's open this bad boy up. All right, the first thing we have is the component part of the stand. And we got the actual stand here. Let's take it out of the plastic. Yeah, it looks like your standard kind of tripod. Where you can just mount it directly on here, or you have the adjustable part here. Let me take a look at this. All right, let's get this bubble wrap out. All right, let's attach this piece. Okay, there we go. Let's see how high this this thing goes. Okay, as you can see, it extends quite a bit, up to around six feet. So it can go anywhere between two and six feet, which is very convenient for your, your needs, depending on the amount of space you have. So we'll put the projector on next and see, see how it is. Okay, and this is how the projector looks like when it's mounted on the stand. As you can see, pretty secure. You can adjust the level. Here we are. Okay, now I'm going to dim the lights and uh, set the projector. So this wall is what I'm going to be using for the projector. It has a lot of big open space, perfect. So yeah, this is the perfect setup for me. And we will now turn on the projector and do the setup. Okay, I just turned the projector on. As you can see, it's already auto calibrating. Okay, and here we go. Let's zoom in a bit. This is what it looks like on that wall that I had earlier. 
And let's go to the settings because it's definitely not um, aligned oriented, right? So let's do that right now. What we have to do here, guys, is just get your remote here. Get it with the AAA batteries. You go to the settings on the left. Uh, first, let's go to Wi-Fi first. Okay, I'm going to set up the Wi-Fi. Uh, just one second, guys. Okay, so as you can see, I'm connected to the internet. And next, I'll go to the projection settings and zoom settings to kind of align this straight with my wall here. Okay, so let's see here. Auto trapezoid, auto focus, four point, go to four point. And then here you can control the X and Y axes to kind of align it to uh, exactly how you want it. So let's see here. Okay, as you can see the projector, this is how the quality looks, it looks pretty good. Um, let me sign into some some popular streaming services just to see how uh, a show plays on this. Okay, let's try Netflix. Okay, so we're signed into Netflix here. And let's see, let's just go watch any show here. Uh, let's watch Breaking Bad and see how it plays. Classic show, goaded show, one of the best written shows on TV. Okay, let's skip a little bit. Yeah, so this is how it plays. As you can see, the quality doesn't look too bad. Um, yeah, the audio is pretty loud too. Okay, let's back out of here. So, we got that working for us. Okay, let's see what else we got. So you could uh, you have Disney Plus, Google Chrome, Facebook, Fox, Netflix. You could also just download apps that you want through their built-in store. You can download the Google Play and then use that. But yeah, right here, Google Play Store, and just download whatever you want. Okay, so Google Play, and then just search for anything. If you want Crave, if you want Apple TV, you just download it. Okay, a feature that I want to test out is uh, the HDMI feature. So, let's do that next. Okay, so I have a PlayStation 5 just laying around here. Uh, the projector does come with HDMI cable. So let's plug, it in, plug the PS5 in and see if it works with the projector. And take it from there. I just connected the PS5 to the HDMI. So let's take a look here. I believe this is settings. Yeah, so you have HDMI, USB settings. Let's go to HDMI. We are connected now, and you can play whatever you want. Let's try it. I haven't played PlayStation in a while, so I don't even know if Elden Ring is... Uh, yeah, I need to update my software. But just know that you can play it. Okay, so as you can see, PlayStation connects fine. HDMI port is good. So if you're a gamer, or you want to connect your laptop, or work, or productivity, or just recreation, it's good to go. Alright, so my... Final review and impressions of this projector, the Wombo T2 Max. First off, this is very light and portable, very convenient to carry around. I like this form factor a lot. You can easily just tuck it away if you're going to a cottage or a buddy's place and you have a media device and don't have to worry about that. Additionally, I love that it has an HDMI port here as well as an audio jack. Um, as you saw earlier in the video, you can plug in a gaming console or a laptop and it works perfectly fine as a second screen or your main screen. Um, I also love the, how this projector has Bluetooth, so if you ever need enhanced audio or just privacy, don't want to bother anyone, that's a good option to have because I know the older model didn't have that. Going off the screen size too, so I love how the screen is very adjustable, where it's a 1080p screen, it looks great, uh, no issues, especially with the price, but you can also but you could also adjust the screen according to uh, to your needs. If you have a big amount of wall space or a small one, you could just adjust it based off the projector software and the zoom software. And that's very convenient, very nice, built into the package. Uh, most major apps work with this, Netflix, Disney, Prime. Um, and you can even use uh, internet on this device as well. Overall, I rate this projector very high. It has everything you need with a solid compact form factor. It has all the features that uh, that you would ever need in a projector. And if you like the video, hit the thumbs up. And if you want more, just let me know. 
uh, right? Peace, guys.